Hi guys, I'm Hayden Crawford and I'm a wellness coach and spiritual teacher specialising in colour therapy. Here is your colour numerology forecast for the week commencing the 28th of September all the way through to the 4th of October 2020. Okay, so we are moving out of Mars and we're moving into Mercury. <laughs> and actually, it's a, it's a tale of two halves this week. Now, let me show you what I mean. So universally, we are in a four at the moment in September. So it's the number four, which is Uranus, which is about change and disruption of old order. Plus, also the ninth month being September is Mars energy. And it's this energy of like you feeling that you need to assert yourself and express what's really going on beneath the surface so people can understand you but trying to do that in a diplomatic and assertive way now we are moving out of september and into october which is obviously it's my month because i'm a libran and libran is all about balance and harmony and you know beauty and it's all that beautiful venus energy coming in and alongside of that, we're moving into a universal month, cycle five. So we move out of a four for September and into a five for October, which is Mercury, which is green over green. So this is all about space. This is about freedom and not feeling constricted. It's about communication and expression. So it's that beautiful heart energy that gives you healing around the heart center and the freedom to be able to feel like you can communicate and be heard. Now, alongside of that, October is a 10 month. So in the culinary system, the bottle 10 is denoted by the Wheel of Fortune, which is the same in traditional tarot, you know, the Wheel of Fortune energy, which is about beginnings, successful new beginnings and, and good fortune. It relates to kind of the goddess Isis who gave birth to the sun. So she was the Egyptian goddess who married Osiris, the king of the underworld, and gave birth to Horus. So it's that beautiful, soft feminine energy that can never be abused so it's this gorgeous energy that's running through now the whole of october as we get to thursday we go into the first of october so there's a big shift going on you can see it actually reflected within the colors in front of us here where you've really only got one bottle with red fragments in it and that's uh, the jupiter bottle on the third on october the third which is um, all about self-acceptance and expansion so let's start with Monday. Now, on Monday, the 28th of September, we've got a new beginning coming in. So this is kind of like signifying the sun shining over Atlantis. It's where we can step into joy and more trust. And we move beyond all of that kind of fiery, dense and aggressive energy that has been with us now for the whole of the month of September. And particularly because of the Mars retrograde. Now, we move on to Tuesday and the uh, Grace Under Pressure bottle comes in, which is bottle 29. And this is one of the darkest of the entire range. <laughs> and it's the bottle of the Olympic spiritual athlete. So just as we've started off on these new beginnings um, on Monday, on Tuesday, we might have lessons of the soul. And it could be that we're having to go through a bit of a dark night of the soul and heart to come out stronger. And it might be that you know, to attain grace, that sometimes we have to go through sort of pressurized situations. And this could be, again, with a release to um, any sort of guilt, but it's a soul evolution that's taking place so that you can move into moise and grace. You know, the 29, if you add the two and the nine together, relates to the 11 energy, which is the light bearer, you know, bringing light down from the heavens to earth. And it's the, the number, it's a master number of ascension. So whatever the dark lessons are, you know, the shadows that are being addressed or illuminated, it's always for the purposeful good. So by the time we get to Wednesday on the 30th, this is called creativity. And this gorgeous bottle is uh, turquoise over pale turquoise. Now this one wants to speak to you very gently and very peacefully and say, hang on a minute, you really need to slow down and give yourself some space and put your boundaries up so that you can allow your creativity to flow. Otherwise, you'll be risking burnout. So don't allow yourself to get overly stressed. So it might have been that you, up until that point of the week, you've been giving all your attention to your family members and you know all the demands of the kids and the mum and dad and the aunties and uncles and work and all the rest of it. And actually, all you want to do is sit down and write a book 
or you want to do paint a picture or you know just play so you know really it's about setting boundaries on wednesday so that you can relax a little bit and step into this peaceful energy of the turquoise so thursday the first comes in october the first and actually the yellow energy of the sun comes in which is bright and happy and joyful and playful and wants laughter and actually in this case you know because we've got mercury sort of underlighting the whole of the month of october this is about joyful expression it's about not feeling restricted so it's about play it's about stepping into the positive aspects of the yellow and not the depression or the overthinking that's also associated with yellow and the ego so this is about really stepping into play and expressing yourself in the best way that you know how on the second as well, what we can see is that you're feeling more emotional than usual. The moon energy, this bottle number two is the moon, which is pale blue over blue. And this is your feminine aspect. So it's kind of like where you feel confident to be able to express your emotions. You might be feeling more sensitive than usual. You might be feeling more psychic or intuitive and get really interesting first gut impressions on situations and events that happen for you. But it's also where you might start feeling second best in, in some respect as well. So it's like maybe you feel like you're invisible, you're not seen or, or somehow you're second best. So observe what comes up for you there and, you know, really go into a place where you can detach yourself as well. Because remember, green is about space in color therapy and when we put this alongside of the blue energy of the moon this is about communication so you need to give yourself space to be able to reflect and then communicate whatever you're feeling within your heart on the third um we have got this jupiter energy i was talking to you about earlier on which is all about expansion jupiter is the largest planet in the whole solar system and because of that it wants to grow and it wants to expand and it wants to be seen you know it's uh, it's a very sagittarian you know sort of energy that comes through with this and actually coral in color therapy is about self-acceptance and expansion and it's actually the color of the new christ ray so you know when we become a christed human living on the planet we step into our gold authentic power and our pink unconditional love and when you mix pink and gold together it creates coral and that's why it's called the color of the new christ ray because it's an embodiment of those facets so Saturday is expansion, but it also could be about self-acceptance. And also you've got to watch being needy, all right, as well. Because if you fall into the negative aspects of the tree, it can be the martyr or playing the role of the victim and being a bit needy or giving up just before, you know, success comes your way. And then finally, on Sunday, we, on the Sunday the 4th, it's that Uranus energy that steps back in again that we had with us all through the month of September, which is about change and disruption of old order. So, you know, change, it's like a double change, really, because the five energy is about freedom uh, from restriction. And then Uranus is the planet of the future, which is a new beginning, but letting go of old people, places, situations, events that are no longer serving us. So what we might find there on Sundays, all that green energy is helping you to kind of let go and uh, of all of these things that are no longer serving you so that you can make space for the, the following week. So it's really exciting times, actually, and you're going to be feeling a lot more peaceful. You know, there's a lot more blue and turquoise energy around throughout the first week of October, which is, you know, lessening that kind of impact of all that red aggression and, and assertiveness that's been around us. OK, so hopefully you've enjoyed that. Please leave a few comments below and let me know how that relates to your week ahead. I'd be really interested to find out. Remember to subscribe to this channel and click the bell for future notifications so that you never miss one of my videos. Awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.